spark plug wire, you just pull up on it. You know, the hardest thing about doing these YouTube videos when you're doing repairs is the fact that I really need to get it done myself and filming it just makes added time to it. But I do like to show up folks what I go through because I know I've been in a position where, like you, you're trying to get something fixed, you want to get it done. This snowblower, this is my Troy built 24 inch. It has been with me now. I've owned it for 16 years, I'm guessing here. And it has been a good machine and kind of a frustrating machine. One of the reasons I don't like it is it just seems like there's a lot of finicky things. And if you don't get a lot of snow every winter, in a lot of ways that's worse because you're not using it as often. And I find, as I've shown in my previous video, my biggest issue is you go out, you try to get some snow removal done, and in the process, it just bogs down, stalls out. I've had it also where you go to put the drive mechanism on. It doesn't have the power to go forward. You end up having to use your own manpower to push it along. And that's a pain and it exhausts you because you're pushing this big heavy machine, which should have drive wheels, but they're not working. But you need to get the driveway or something cleared. And it just drives you nuts. You know, it's like, what am I paying my money for in this machine? I might as well just shovel it. Well, when you get a blizzard, then you really want these machines because shoveling just is too hard when you've had that thick, heavy blizzard snow and it's just too thick and it takes forever to, you know, heart attack city. Now, I don't think it's the belts. I think the thing's just gotten old enough that I think I'm finally into a carburetor issue. Probably the main jet is clogged up after all the years of sitting. I try to drain it every year. But there's always a residual amount of fuel in there and that can gum up and tarnish. I think that's where I'm at now. It just doesn't have the power when it hits the snow and it bogs down. It really has to work. I think it's starved of fuel. I think it's a carburetor issue. So this is the carburetor and I took the cover off and it's just it was two screws and then I loosened this one. I always put the screws back on just because I don't want to lose them. And that way I know where they go. I also had to pull off the choke knob. It's just a plastic press on. You get a screwdriver, pry it off, and it pops off. And then it lets you take the cover off. I don't feel like taking all of the mechanisms off. This is the fuel line coming in. These are notorious for breaking. If I take this clamp off, you don't have a lot of tube to work with. And you pull it, sometimes you can break that plastic elbow. If it was metal, I wouldn't worry. But because it's plastic, those are hard to come by. I don't feel like getting stuck into that. I need to get the snow off my driveway today. I don't want to mess with trying to have to get another part. I'm going to try to go for just taking the bowl off by taking off just the main jet. It's also what holds the bowl on. And then we'll try to just clean it and see if that does the trick. I'm going to take this off. It's one way to drain your fuel out of it too, the bowl. Okay, we take the bolt out, which is also the main jet. It's a fixed jet, not adjustable. There's the little hole that we're gonna to wanna to run a little piece of wire through to clear it. And we'll take the bowl off here. You wanna take note of the orientation of this bowl that protrudes versus this is a little more depressed. That corresponds with the float inside, so we wanna make sure we put that on in the same way. All right, so it's a little off so you can see the float. So we want that bowl to match the orientation of the float. It's not too gummed up or gross inside. Looks like it's moving freely. The gasket is a little deteriorated, I'd say. Um, it's not in great shape. And that happens with our ethanol fuel. Um, those rubber gaskets, I think I'll just clean it and put it back up there. I'm gonna take this over the workbench. I don't wanna put uh, carb cleaner on the gaskets. It's not a good idea for swallowing the gasket. So I'll put that aside. We'll use the carb cleaner on the jet. Look at this little gasket. I think, I think I'll just leave it. It's already sealed on there. And I can see through that jet, but it might be a little clogged. Really old carburetor cleaner. It doesn't have much spray left in itself. I'm just gonna just, just clean this up a little bit.
And all that buildup around there, I'm wondering it's possible, I suppose, that maybe that wasn't making a good seal with the gasket. Maybe it was letting some uh, air mixture in there. I mean, this isn't a, clearly an end-all, be-all of carburetor cleanup. This is just a hasty, so I can maybe still salvage a little bit of the day to try to do the driveway. I've checked the spark plug. It doesn't seem bad. Let's see if this does anything. Up in the thread, you can barely see it with the naked eye. There's a little hole that's for when the engine's at idle. It's kind of an old trick, but you can take a piece of this wire. You gotta hold on to it so they go flying. And then use that as a uh, cleaning tool. If I can find that little hole again, there it is. And even this might be a little, oh, there we got it. And then you just running that in there. So just an old wire brush. And you don't want to be too aggressive because, you, you know, these are finely machined. Clean out any tarnish or gunk that may have built up in there. And that one right there is really hard. And if you just take a little piece of wire, it kind of is at an angle like that. About, you know, it's almost like a 45 degree angle. You can run that in and out. Down in the hole itself, down in here. I'm just going to pass that in there and just kind of squirrel it around. Again, we're just trying to clean out any any little tarnish or gumminess that might have built up in there. I think they'd make a tool set just for this purpose. I never have one of those. I'm just doing this as a makeshift. Again, it goes way back to when I was a kid. So what you do to try to keep our old outboard motors and all kinds of stuff going. And to clean that gasket, I'm just going to use a little WD-40 actually just to wipe it off. WD-40s not so harmful to the uh to rubber and i'm just going to do it this way just get some of that build up off And this is why I just pried off. You can just put it back on. Starting safety key back in. Where's that? There it is. Before I started anything, you pull the spark plug wire so there's no chance anything to start up. Put that back on, put some fresh fuel in it. We'll give it a shot. See if it helped. If not, I'll be shoveling by hand and then back to the drawing board to try to see what's going on with some of these springs maybe over on the belt side. I just wanted to get this done. We got some heavy snow overnight. Not blizzard, but enough that I got to get cleared up. And it's kind of heavy wet snow. I've made previous videos about the belts. I've replaced the shave plates and the shoes. Got a video about that. I still feel like there's some tension springs I can try to work with. I have never replaced those. Those may be getting to the point where I need to replace them. But that's the thing about these things. There's so many different parts to it. But in this case, I think it is the engine's carburetor. It was starving of fuel. Also, that fuel cap has to let some air in. That may have been on there so long, it may have compressed at the top, that fuel cap. It pulled out that little black bladder in the bottom. It just pulls out and kind of pushed it back in, but not quite as far and let the cap screw on. But, you know, the, the engine ran fine except under load, and that's when it would stall out. So this time, I think it's got more power. It's shooting better. I'm going to put it on here. You can take a look for yourselves. It's a lot better than it was. You used just conk out. So I'm kind of overjoyed that that's what it was. I think it was just a little carburetor cleaning is all it needed.